Verbal Pick Radio. As we welcome you to the live Mike Tyson and Roy Jones fight right here on Verbal Pick Radio. Right after this music break, the fight will be on.
All I need is more to be yeah. You know how I get when I put on my mix with a rose. Fucking D go double G. Da 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 You know what I'm with the D R E. What the fuck is up, y'all? Everybody at the house right now. If you got some of that sticky icky icky, you know what time it is. Blaze it up. Top dog, bottom all, nigga, burn this shit up. D P J C, my nigga, turn this shit up. C P T L B C, yeah, we hook it back up. And when they bang this in the club, they think you got to get up. Thug nigga, drug dealers, yeah, they giving it up. Long life, yo life, what we living it up. Naked chances while we dancing in the party to show. Slip my whole 44 when she crept in the back door. These bitches looking at me strange, but you know I don't care. Step up in this motherfucker just to swing in my hair. Bitch, quit talking, quit walk if you down with the sick. Take a bullet with some nigga, take this dope on the shit. Out of town, put it down for the father of rap. And if your ass get cracked, then shut your trap. Come back, get back, that's the part of success. If you believe in the ass, you'll be relieving your stress. Yes, sir. Trimmer. Pay per view. Big Snoop Dogg in your motherfucking house. Trip. We're going to take it back to the heyday. Yeah. When Mike and Roy was doing their thing, thing. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang. I like it. Yeah. Some of that indigo gene. Ha <laughs> ha! With so much drama in the LBC, it's kinda hard being a Snoop Dogg double G. But I somehow, some way, keep coming up with funky ass shit like every single day. Man, I kick a little something for the G's and make a few hands as I breeze through. It's till in the morning and the party still jumping cause my mama ain't on. I got bitches in the living room getting it on. They ain't leaving till six in the morning. So what you wanna do? Look, I got a pocket full of rubbers and my homeboys do too. So turn off the lights and close the doors. But but what? We don't let them hide. Yeah. So we gon' smoke an ounce to this. G's up, hold down while you motherfuckers bounce to this. Lay back with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Back. With my mind on my money, get my and money on my mind. Back. I've got me some secret gin. Everybody got their cups, but they ain't chipped in. Now this type of shit happens all the time. You gotta get yours before I gotta get mine. Everything is fine, but you're listening to the DOG. I got the cultivating music that me captivating hate. Who listens to the words that I speak as I take me a drink to the middle of the string and get the back into this freak named Sadie. She used to be my homeboy's lady. Oh, now it was 80 degrees when I told that bitch, please raise up all these in your teeth. Cause you get none of these at ease. As I mop with the dog, fam, feel the breeze. And now you know I'm just rolling down the street. Smoking in now. Sipping on gin and juice. Lay back with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Rolling down the street. Smoking in now. Sipping on gin and juice. Lay back. Roll my mind, roll my money, and my money on my mind. Make some motherfucking noise. West Five, four, three, two, one, two. Three into the four. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is that joke dope. Ready to make an entrance, so back on up. Cause you know we about to rip shit up. Give me the microphone first so I can bust like a bubble. Compton and Long Beach together, now you know you in trouble. Cause ain't nothing but a G thing. Baby. Two low doubt niggas, so we're crazy. And death row is the label that pays me. We got played up, so please don't try to face this. But uh, back to the lecture at hand. Yeah. Perfection is perfection, so I'ma let them understand. 
from a young G's perspective. And before me, they got a bitch, I have to find a contraceptive. You never know, she could be earning her man and learning her man. And at the same time, burning her man. Now you know why with that shit, Lieutenant. Ain't no pussy good enough to get her while I'm offended. And that's real of the real deal, how we feel. And now you hookers and hoes know how I feel. Well, if it's good enough to get her off a proper chunk, I take a small piece of some of that funky stuff. It's like this and like that and like this, Santa. It's like that and like this and like that, Anna. It's like this and you know how it goes, so just chill to the next episode. Oh no, big Snoop Dogg, back up in the easy baby, you're jocking my style, you so crazy, Drake say ain't no limit to this, as long as we drop gangsta shit, now look here bitch, you fine and I dig your style, come fuck with a nigga, let me do it. Doggy style, I'll be gentle, sentimental. Shit, we fucking the rental, Lincoln, continental. Uh, coast to coast, and late to Chicago. I get the pussy everywhere that I go. Ask the bitches in your hook, cause they know. I get the pussy everywhere that I go. Ask the bitches in your hook, cause they know. When the pimp's in the crib, ma. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. When the pigs try to get at you. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. And if a nigga get an attitude. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. I got the rolling on my arm and I'm pouring Sean Don and I pull the best weed cause I got it going on. See, I'm a gangster, but y'all do that. The big boss dog, yeah, I had to do that. I keep a blue flag hanging on my backside, but only on the left side. Yeah, that's the crip side. See, ain't no other way to play the game the way I play. I cut so much, you thought I was a DJ. Two, you beat, you beat one, yep, three. S N double O P. I can't make it, just break it. See, wanna take it? See, I specialize in making all the girls get naked. So bring your friends, all of y'all come inside. We got a world for me and right here, and I get high. So don't change the diesel, turn it up a little. I got a living room full of fine dime bristles. They waiting on the pencil, the diesel, and the chisel. Cheese to the bizzack, and the ladies here with kiss. So when the pimp's in the crib, huh? Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. When the pigs try to get at you, Park it like it's hot, park it like it's hot, park it like it's hot. What if a nigga get an attitude? Pop it like it's hot, pop it like it's hot, pop it like it's hot. I got the rolling on my arm and I'm pouring Sean Don and I roll the best weed cause I got it going on. I'm a bad boy, with a lot of hoes, drive my own cars, run my own clothes. I hang out tough, I'm a real boss. Big Snoop Dogg, yeah, he's so short. I'm on the TV screen and in the magazines. And if you play me close, you want a red bean. Oh, you got a gun, so you want to pop that? AK-47 now, nigga, stop that. See, Miss Shoes, I'm on the move. Your family's crying, and now you on the news. They can't find you, and now they miss you. Must I remind you, I'm only here to twist you. Pistol whip you, dip you, let's whip you. The dance to this motherfucking music we crypt to. Subscribe, nigga, get your issue. Baby, come close. Let me see how you get loose with the pimps in the crib, ma. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. When the pigs try to get at you. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. What if a nigga get an attitude? Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. Well, I'm Somebody right, smoke that it's shit. It's time man. to smoke. Yeah. Well, all right, you squares, it's time to smoke. Say well, it again. Well, all right, you squares, it's time to smoke. Snoop. That one was for your mama right there, because I know she loved me, and I love your mama back. Fuck them other niggas, cuz. Suck ass, niggas talking that shit. <laughs> Y'all ready for the big fight? Make some motherfucking noise. I'm the nigga on the tank with the big fucking balls And if anybody fuck with Snoop Doggy Dog I'ma make his nigga put his name on the wall <laughs> When I got a call, it's like, hey, Tyson gonna do like a eight-round boxing situation
My initial thought was no. Mike is deadly dangerous. If he can hit you, he can take your head off. But then as I thought about it more, that's the great Mike Tyson. How could you not? Who don't want to share the ring with Mike Tyson? How is uh, Roy Jones? You know, he's real formidable. I realize this is very complicated. He ain't catching that. He's getting catching that. Here we go. Run, run. You know that it's coming. Boom. Oh, you know that it's coming. Come on. Come on. And he's going to stop the fight. You know that he's playing. You have no idea what you have in store from the God of War. You get in my face, I got to hit you. I gotta knock a motherfucker out. Gotta hurt somebody. It's like David and Goliath. He's a giant, and I'm the little David who only has God on my side, <laughs> which is only all I need. This is about to be all. There's never any doubts in my mind because I'm the best in the world, even though a lot of you don't like to hear it. I just, it's fact. Boxing's a good sport. This is what I do. When we become a fighter, that's because you can't do nothing now. No doubt he's the best in his generation. I'm the best in my generation. If you're not a legend, you don't belong here. We are just moments away here at the Staples Center again. A year that by any definition has not been normal. Well, tonight is definitely not a normal combat sports event. And Israel Adesanya, the undefeated UFC middleweight champion, I, I was in my early 20s when these two were in their primes. And, and seeing what they were able to accomplish, obviously it's an exhibition. Obviously they are both over 50. Mm. Temper the expectations. They say if you don't expect nothing, you won't be disappointed. This is about curiosity. This is about nostalgia. This is about professional pride. Yeah, 100%. This is, like you said, nostalgia. Mike is one of those guys, like, in his era. Same with Roy. In his era, if you were alive, if you were there witnessing it happen, you can't even describe it. It's something that was just beautiful. It was hard to... Like, I was a kid, you know? And I'm a guy who still, to this day, whenever... Example, at the PI, the UFC PI, if you see Mike rocking around, everyone stops and looks. Mm. Well, he Amongst, transcended the sport. More than the sport. He is Mike Tyson. Same with Roy Jones. Like, Roy, when he was in his... He's the guy that would play a basketball game <laughs> the, 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 like hours before his fight. Uh, Eric Lucas, you know? the only athlete to ever participate in two paid sports events in one day. Now, Ray, you came back a few times, albeit with mixed results, right? Yes. Now, here we are. Mike Tyson, 15 years removed from his ignominious defeat against Kevin McBride. Roy Jones has been active, but hasn't been active for over three years, or close to three years. Why do fighters keep coming? Why do you come back? Is it all about the Benjamins, Ray? For me, uh, it's really hard to articulate unless you're in my shoes. Um, well, I, put yourselves in Mike and Roy's shoes and, and compare yourself. Well... For me, thank God, I didn't come back for financial reasons. I came back because I wanted to fight Marvin Hagler. Unfortunately fight, well not unfortunately, but fight Terry Norris, Hector Macho Camacho. I mean, I pushed the envelope too much without being ready here and here. But you were in your 30s, and these guys are now in their 50s. And, and while it is an exhibition... Do you feel that it's going to remain so? I mean, we're talking Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr., two guys with healthy egos, a lot of pride. You said exhibition? <laughs> I did? No, there's no such thing as an exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> Even when I'm sparring with my brother, Roger, I, I don't spar. I'm to knock well, what is off. your definition of hard sparring? That's what the California State Athletic Commission has decreed this match. They, they want them to, to go at it, but... Not necessarily hurt each other. Come on. They had no control over that. They are going to hurt each other. I hate to say it. Israel, what do you, I mean, you've been very vocal about the same thing. It's, there's a big difference in terms of, yeah, you people 
a lot of people, uh, casual sports fans, lapsed boxing fans, with everything going on in the world, need a break from, I guess, reality. This is surreality. <laughs> what about this fight tonight? What do you expect? Honestly, I expect them to go at each other. Like I said, this is thriller. This ain't vanilla. I don't know what this exhibition thing we're talking about is. But once someone gets touched egos like mike said the gods of war have summoned him again they've summoned him again that's why like like uh mr leonard said in here he's had that same with roy they have that they're fighters through and through it's like riding a bike once you're a fighter you can't let go of that you have to be able to though all right let's take a look at the illustrious numbers for both mike tyson roy jones jr and again the we've talked about the age we've talked about the fact that they have been well, throughout their careers, involved in so many highs and, and some lows as well. And what sticks out for you, Israel, when you look at the numbers, that, that winning streak definitely is impressive. For me, it's just a record. Like, for me, I just see knowledge, knowledge passed down. Just, this is crazy. These guys have been around. They're old dogs, and they still got some new tricks up their sleeve. And their knockout streaks, lengthy, 19 for Tyson, 17 for Roy Jones. And, yeah, you all must have forgot. I mean, Roy Jones Jr., obviously... A man known for his boxing, his creative offense, much like you, Israel. But he also possessed some pop, the uppercuts, the Glenn Kelly. I mean, that was a, a posterizing of a fighter when he had his hands down, pop Glenn Kelly. So and was let's out. see, Ray, uh, again, final words in terms of what what is the realistic expectations tonight? You know, when the fight was first announced, I said Mike Tyson. But I didn't include Roy Jones Jr., Anything can happen here. Um, I can't call it. What would be what would be a success for you? For me, if they both show their true heart and even go more than four rounds and show true skill, that would be a big win for everyone. And I think it's an advantage for both, but for Mike Tyson especially, two-minute rounds. They were supposed to wear headgear, and, well, if you go back to the rematch with Evander Holyfield, maybe Roy Jones Jr. wishes they were wearing <laughs> headgear tonight, but but it's it's they're not going to be wearing headgear. You Eight two-minute rounds. Um, maybe you and I can do that. <laughs> uh, maybe you can do that, and I'll call it. <laughs> the man's about that action. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We are just moments away. Legends only league the first night, and here's Mike Tyson's resume. And, yeah, it speaks for itself. Started his career with 19 consecutive knockouts. A ferocious blast, a fire hose blast of brutality. Became the youngest heavyweight champion in history when he defeated Trevor Burbick. Was the 86 and 1988 fighter of the year. His prime really between 86 and 91. He was the undisputed heavyweight champion champion for three years look at that half of his 44 knockouts come in the opening round and well a night that he would i'm sure for like to forget quitting on the stool against kevin mcbride saying that he had lost his love for boxing but boxing has saved his life and he is back wanting to get back to humanity wanting to give back to his family wanting to give back to himself and of course a lot of money for charity as well let's go now to roy jones jr's All right, and before we get that, let's talk a little bit more about this resume, Israel. Uh, again, the, the power, the power, the power. That's the thing everyone always says. Even in my career, they keep saying the power, the power. But power means shit if you can't get it to the target. But the guy, Mike Tyson, knows how to deliver that power to the target. He's got beautiful head movement. He knows how to get inside, great footwork, and deliver that power. And he's done it over and over again. Look at that, 22 or 44 KOs inside the first round. I won't be surprised if we see that here tonight. Ray, you were an undisputed welterweight champion. Mike Tyson, an undisputed heavyweight champion. Uh, I mean, undisputed speaks for itself, my man. What What is it like being at the top of the mountain? Um, indescribable. Uh, indescribable, but it's all about the purpose. Well, and we saw Tyson climb the mountain, but he ended up finding a cliff, a precipitous fall. But, hey, he's going to try to be as sharp as he can. If he's as sharp as a cliff edge, he might do well tonight as we again anticipate the main event here. 
And uh, we've got, of course, Roy Jones Jr. We would love to take a look at his resume as well as, of course, he was uh, the fighter of the 90s. And a guy that just, I mean, this guy moved his hands like a magician, uh, becoming the first fighter to start a career at 154 and then claim a piece of the heavyweight crown, the first middleweight champion to do so in 100 years. And, and again, Olympic silver medalist Ray, you were a gold medalist. Roy Jones Jr. should have been a gold medalist. The worst decision in Olympic boxing history. I actually cried when that happened. Um, that was just so wrong. All right, and Snoop Dogg rejoins us, and Snoop, Roy Jones Jr., spits a few bars as well. He's uh, a man after your own heart with the rapping, but what about the rapping you'll be doing in the ring tonight? I mean, you got to look at his career. Roy was the man in the 90s, just like, you know, the music that I made was real effective in the 90s, so we kind of, like, coexisted at the same time. So to see that he still got the spirit and the will and the know-how and to put his skills up against the great Mike Tyson, that says a lot because Mike is Mike no matter what day it is or what night it is. So I'm anxious to see what's going to happen. All right, bringing the OG Funk along with Roy Jones Jr. Snoop Dogg in Israel. Uh, what about Roy Jones Jr.? We've talked about throughout the night uh, the way that you have patterned some of your unorthodox creative offense. What what is it the what bedazzled you the most about Roy Jones Jr. in his heyday? For me, it's his confidence. He was so sure of himself. Mike had that as well, and Mike talked about that when he walked in the ring. But Roy had this confidence, this aura of invincibility, like he just knew you can't you can't rock with me. Like I'm going to go in there and impose my will on you at, like hands behind the back with James Tony what's up and then he copied him dropped him down these are iconic moments in combat sports history and highlights that are going to live on and on and on forever he might create another one tonight all right well we have a contact high in the building thanks to Snoop and Snoop there hopes hey, to be a lot of contact tonight thanks oh, to Weed Maps man I, I followed the navigation <laughs> what, what, on Weed Maps and, man. and speaking of cannabis of course Mike Tyson has had a legendary career Snoop talk about the influence of Iron Mike and why you're such a fan man Iron Mike Tyson is the epitome of what it means to be great, to come from nothing and become something. He was our hero. You know, we looked up to Sugar Ray, Muhammad Ali, and then it was Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was was the new era of, of what they had laid down, you know, running with the baton, taking it to another level. So he represented the hood. He represented the turf that you could actually get up out of the hood and make it. So we really, you know, leaned on him and loved him for what he did, and we supported him through his good times, bad times, and his comeback. So we always been there for Mike Tyson. What did you you think when this fight was first announced, Snoop? Did you oh, think oh. that the endo was a little stronger than usual? I was like, let me call Roy to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> Are y'all sure? You show show. <laughs> and they're speaking of the devil himself. There's Roy Jones Jr. Again, just an incredible athlete. And Ray Leonard, of course, with some of the fastest hands in the sport. Roy Jones Jr. with dazzling hand speed. But it was just the, the creative offense, the unorthodox nature. And uh, it's just uh, incredible to see him making this walk now at the age of 51. He said it was a bucket list. He knows he's giving up the size. And he says, you know, you can criticize him all you want. You can, you can make light of the fight. But he, he says, I'm going to be standing across Mike Tyson. This is bucket list stuff, Israel. 100%. This is something that dreams are made of. This is a fantasy fight, if you will. But it's not a fantasy. It's about to happen right now in front of us. And, yeah, Roy, never count out an old dog. He's still got this tricks up his sleeve. And he he's a guy that's a crafty veteran. I'm telling you, man, they say speed is the last thing. It's one of the first things that go when you get older. But... He's a guy that still retained a little bit of that. He's not the same. His eyes aren't the same, like you said, but he's still got that pop in his punches and that delivery system that's super fast. 2020 continues to bring the improbable. Let's go to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Two legends in one ring. Coming to the ring first, the six-time world champion, Roy Jones Jr. Y'all must have forgotten I had to learn a lot I've been on top and it's really motivating You 
So, and while he's released rap albums, he was pure jazz in the squared circle. And now making his entrance to the ring, the former two-time heavyweight world champion, Iron Mike Tyson! one week removed from the 34 year anniversary where he defeated Trevor Burbick to become the youngest heavyweight champion looking to reclaim just a tiny, tiny piece of redemption at this time ladies and gentlemen the national anthem will be performed by our special guest the Grammy award winning international recording superstar Singer, actor, producer, Neo! Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we Twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watch Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red Bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled Banner yet wave Or the And the home of the rain. From Staples Center, Los Angeles, California, USA. CES Boxing proudly presents the main event of the evening. Eight two-minute rounds of heavyweight boxing featuring two of the greatest names in the history of the sport as Triller brings us Tyson Jones. Sanctioned by the California State Boxing Commission, Chairman John Carvelli, Executive Officer Andy Foster. 
The World Boxing Council, President Mauricio Suleiman, has assigned three former world champions to unofficially score this matchup. They are Chad Dawson, Christy Martin, and Vinny Paz, a.k.a. Vinny Pazienza. The referee in charge of the action will be Ray Corona. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the officials are ready. The fighters are in the ring, and they are ready. So for the millions tuned in watching this live, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, wearing white and purple with gold, official weight, 210 pounds. In 75 career fights, he has 66 victories, including 47 big wins by knockout. He's recognized as one of the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighters in boxing history. From Pensacola, Florida, USA, the former middleweight world champion, former super middleweight world champion, the two-time light heavyweight world champion, former WBU cruiserweight world champion, and the former heavyweight champion of the world, the future Hall of Fame legend, Roy Jones Jr. And across the ring, fighting out of the white corner, wearing his traditional black, and officially weighing in at 220.4 pounds. In his career of 56 fights, he has 50 victories, including 44 knockouts. He was universally recognized as the baddest man on the planet. From Brownsville and the Catskills and Henderson, Nevada, USA, he is from the IBF, pardon me, from the International Boxing Hall of Fame, presenting one of the most devastating heavyweight KO punchers of all times, the two-time heavyweight world champion, former undisputed, undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Let's go, fighters, two seconds. All right, gentlemen, I gave you the rules in there. Two legends. Let's give them a good show. Touch gloves if you want. Ooh. November 28, 2020. Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. Man, you can feel the tension in this room. It's palpable. Eight two-minute rounds sanctioned by the California State Athletic ready? Commission. Are you ready? Bell in round one, Ray Corona with a, well, pivotal task. The referee will have to really be on the ball. Mike Tyson expecting to come out as fast as possible. Do you see what Roy's doing here, now? Roy, Roy, Roy has to do that the whole time. See it. Go ahead, Roy. Mike Tyson with a cavalcade of first round knockouts going to the liver and upstairs with that left hook. And there's a little of that bob and weaving, of course, Costamato teaching him the early intricacies of boxing and Mike Tyson all over Roy Jones Jr. Snoop. This shit like two of my uncles fighting at the barbecue. Uh, <laughs> get, get your uncle out of here. Get him out of here. You go meet me in the backyard. I'm tired of this shit. Come on. Come on. Meet me back here, huh? Get, 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 get up in there, there, Roy. Shit. In and out. 12 Temper ounce gloves. Right? Not the normal 10 ounce gloves, Israel. They will blunt a little bit of the offense. Hold on to it, Roy. Hold on to it. Don't take that. Get out of there. They're tender now. Them ribs is tender, Roy. That's good. Already a minute gone again. Just two minute rounds. Mike Tyson coming forward. Boy, look at my uncle. Look at him. Look at my uncle. He's out there fighting in the backyard. Stop. Stop. Back up. Roy Jones Jr. We're talking to the referee. He says, get me first. I got to hold him. <laughs> he said he's bringing his hand. I got to hold him. You got to protect yourself. Get out of there, Roy. You still got it? Well, there's a double, triple jab with Mike Tyson. Tyson trained with famed MMA trainer. I know, Izzy, you know him very well. Rafael Cordero. Rafael Cordero. And Cordero said he had to end up having shoulder surgery, just holding the pads for Tyson. I can imagine that. Power. That's power. Okay, okay. Come on, Roy. Roy's trying to make him run into that right hand. That's what he wanted to do? Yes. With that jab. 
So well, he put the jab out there to get that right to commit, huh? Exactly. The style of fighting of Roy Jones Jr. It does not, not conducive to older age, but Mike Tyson really taking the opening round. That was a good round. Look at the champ. You don't even want to sit down. Stay up there, Mike. <laughs> So he's sitting down. Oh, he's going to sit down. Take a magic. Take a magic. Beautiful, beautiful. Here's Mike. What a fucking beautiful. Where's the buffet, coach? Roy can't beat Mike Tyson inside like that. No. He needs to stay mobile. Yes. Double jab everything. Double jab everything. He's a player of you. He's two jabs. Breathe and relax. Grab the bucket. Grab the bucket. You're going to catch him. He's already done. Come back with a shot, like making the turns short and then come right back with stuff, okay? You can see the stuff coming. You see it somewhat deeper. The breathing is already happening, Snoop. He said, You can see it coming. He said, Yes, somewhat. Tell it like it is and not like it was, huh? Amen. Round number two. And Mike Tyson explodes and delivers a left to the body and the left hook upstairs. And Roy Jones Jr., you know, he talked about facing Anderson Silva, the MMA legend. Is he easy? He just wanted, he's trying to turn this into a wrestling match. Go here, Roy. Look at Roy. He got technique, boy. Roy got He better be careful there. He's doing the right thing, but he needs to get out of there. Yeah, because he's going to make Mike mad. He's going to put it. He was, Mike Tyson used to be a vegan of Andrew Holyfield, which is he was on that night in 97 as Tyson, though, coming for it, remains oh, oh, just blocked Roy Jones with a left hand, and Jones shook it off. Don't look at him. Trying to turn back the clock one more time. Shit, mix it up, boy. You ain't coming to play. Get your money. Father time undefeated. These two way past their primes, but looking for... Get out of here, Roy. Get up in two. Entertain at least. He can't let Mike get settled with the right hand. That was a move over the half. He went real low. That was a low right of move right there. I dropped. He dropped down to the floor. Oh, get out of there, boy. Get the ribs out of there. They're going to be so low. Get them out of there. Israel, what do you think of Roy Jones Jr. tactics here? I think he's trying to get Mike tired by grappling with him and making him feel his way and making him frustrated as well. So that way he can make a mistake. But, man, you don't want to make Mike mad. Uh-uh. You got to keep them ribs off that barbecue grill. They will be sauteed, man. Show your under 30 seconds left here in the second round. Tyson digging to the body momentarily, but they might need oxygen in between rounds here. They are just leaning on each other. And again, let's go. Go ahead, Roy. Get smart, Roy. Go ahead, Roy. Get smart. Oh, hey, Roy. Get him, Roy. Use that jab. Mike's all he has. Double left. And yet, Jim Ram. Maturity. Yeah, 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 amen. Say that. Growth and development. Say that. Man, testify, bro. Yes, Lord. I like that round. They was mixing it up real good. I like that. Right here. Right here, Mike. Put your pressure on him. Get an edge one more jab. Breathe a little bit, fellas. Breathe a little bit. And you're hearing the voice of Rafael Cordero, responsible for honing some of the uh, skills of some of the greatest MMA strikers ever, including at better like some of the best Jones. Get on, bro, with the no look. Hit him with a dart and then escape. Shake him back, baby. Shake him back. Get out of there. Just get out of there. That's the rule I love right there. No look. Jones appears to be breathing a little laboriously, but Mike Tyson appears to be. Okay, now comes out, moving the head a bit, trying to walk down. Jones lands the left. This is where conditioning comes into play. Ooh, beautiful footwork from Mike Tyson. He might do it. He, he fainting now. He fainting now. He's just not walking in straight. He gives you some head fakes, some leg movements. Ooh, low output. Good combination. Yep. Oh, oh, yes. 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 Left hand and uh, referee Corona walking and watching.
watching. And again, Roy Jones Jr. just trying to keep it close, trying to wear down Mike Tyson potentially. And worth getting the better on the inside fighting at the moment. He's smart. He's smart. That's a veteran fighter right there that knows how to wrap up and not take no big hits, but keep it in, in tight like that. But is it, it, is, it, is it entertaining and exciting for the viewing public at home, Snoop? I know it's smart. But no, when Mike Tyson fights, he fights tall guys, big guys. Oh, we got a headbutt. You got guys now with Roy. Roy's like the same height. Right. And we've had an accidental headbutt. I heard uh, that potentially if there was a, a cut, that the Ray Corona may be looking to stop it. But this up so far so good here in terms of, I don't think there was a cut, honestly. It's too good to stop. Yeah, can't stop this little cut. Put some Vaseline on that thing and keep it moving. Yeah, some Lysol. You got adrenaline. Oh, oh, and there's an exchange. A great exchange from two legends right there. Speaking of legends, very proud to have Snoop Dogg on the broadcast. Is a big fan, and you're, you're breaking it down for us, brother. Hey, man, this is what I love. I love watching boxing. I love to be able to talk about it and be about it at the same time. Oh, and Jones avoids that punch by Tyson. Get you some points. He's trying to frustrate. He's trying to frustrate. Yes, exactly. He needs to let his hands go. Right. That's how you get points, right? Yes, absolutely. But you have to be careful with those hands down. Wise man once said, if you don't have any expectations, you will never be disappointed. And we need to temper our expectations in terms of what we will see tonight, Snoop. Well, you know, I just, I, I, I'm so happy that I'm seeing these guys still have it, like still have the punches, still have the awareness and the know-how and, and the smarts inside the ring. They may not have the same velocity, the same speed, but they still got that know-how. Yeah, they got the mind, but uh, sometimes the body doesn't uh, do what the mind says, right, Israel? Damn, I'm loving it. I'm loving it so far. They're very competitive. Good fight. Good fight so far. And we still have a few rounds left. And do it off. Listen, even do it off the faint and switch and throw the one. Yeah, there you go. That one hand, but you got to put some body behind that one hand because you ain't doing that. And he has a frustrate Mike. Do he really want to frustrate Mike? <laughs> 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 Mike's there already. <laughs> he's already a pro from you. Of course, Mike Tyson would love to deliver that patented right hook to the body, followed by the right uppercut has done so much damage over the years, and Tyson attacking Jones. Oh, you mean the one he used to do on the Mike Tyson punch-out video? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. And he's done it in a, a few fights as well as he is. I mean, that uppercut. And Jones had a, a very good uppercut in the day. And Jones trying to utilize the footwork, the speed, obviously. Nowhere close to where it was in his prime. But Jones trying to deacon juke here. What Roy Jones is doing is really trying to frustrate him. But Tyson cuts the corner off. Yeah, he does. Cuts the right, yeah. Bulldog. Bulldog. That's what he has to be. Well, I feel like I'm, I'm back in my days as a pro wrestling announcer with some of this grappling, maybe a little Muay Thai, almost a Thai plum there, is he? Yeah, this is, this is some Muay Thai. Ain't, no, ain't nobody talking out in here. Ain't no, you know, you hit me, I'm hitting you back. I no, I like this. This is what I like. My uncles are getting it in. Grandma wanted to break this up. Grandma, they have to fight again. Referee Ray Corona warning Roy Jones Jr. for holding. You know, punch, that punch that, uh, that uh, Mike throws, that hook to the body, and that uppercut? The short one. The short one. Uh, that, that will be effective. Here's our unofficial right scoring by the former champions. I'm really impressed with Mike's Oh, right oh, in the yes, body. Another yes, body that was shot. That was Jones that was wins it, and the veteran Jones that's hanging on now. That's the shot. Yeah, that's the thought. Looking for the money wow. shot. Use the strength. Yes. That's beautiful. 20 seconds left in the round. Yeah, 20 seconds left in the first half of this eight round fight. Again, only two minute rounds. Oh, get off there, Roy. Get off. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. And what he keeps doing to get away with it, he'll tie one hand, punch with the other, and then shuffle around and tie with the other hand, and keep punching. See, but only a veteran will be able to do something like That's that crap. against Mike Tyson. That's a crap. Is, is, we have WBC former champion judges on hand tonight, of course, Chad Dawson. Christy Martin and Vinny Pazienza. Pazienza, by the way, infamous for not landing a punch against Roy Jones in the fourth round in their fight. 
That was the first time Roy? in history. Roy? Guys, tell me something. It does does Roy look tired to you? Yes, yes. <laughs> Out of the three fighters, soft. definitely Mike is, is in the better shape so far. Because he can see the way he's breathing. He's yeah, he, he's, he's exhausted. The body language says it all. 100%. And again, when you, you know, we're talking, and I don't want to beat the, the, the horse here, guys, but two over 50 year olds, what, what do you expect in terms of conditioning and stuff? Well, I know how I am on the basketball court. In my early days, I could play like five or six games, and I can only play one game with 21. <laughs> <laughs> No, Roy, he's, he's no, not two legends, man. Let's, let's sharp up there. He's not looking as confident. Oh, the referee yes. encouraging them. Two legends. Let's look sharp up there. Well, that's a sharp shot by Mike Tyson, the sharpshooter in this fight. But there you go. There you go. Protect yourself, Roy. Protect yourself. That's there, Mike Tyson. And Tyson avoids that punch. Lord, don't let him have a flash, Jack. Precious Lord, please don't let him have a flash, Jack. Coming up on the midpoint of round five and again. Rattling Roy Jones, Jones ducking down and just wants to close the gap, wants to clinch here, is he? And Tyson wants to create some separation. Roy, against it right now. Go ahead, Roy. Oh, there you go. It's just conditioning. That's the only thing he's just leaking in his conditioning. Well, there's an, Ray, we talked about it. There's a difference between being in physical shape, cosmetic shape. Tyson looked great on the pads or 100 pound weight loss, but fighting shape is another thing, and here they are. Last minute of the fifth. They're heading to 10 minutes already of action, and that may not be saying a lot, but it is a lot, Izzy. It takes a lot out of you. Yeah, definitely. It takes a great deal. With another man weight on you. Oh, there was that right hand by Tyson. That was a shot. Oh, that was a shot. Oh, 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 he's still got it. He's still got it. Tyson picking off Roy Jones Jr. There's that no look chat by Roy Jones Jr. Get out of there, Roy. 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 The veteran move by Joe. I don't want any more of this. My uncle's out there fighting right now. Yep. They fight like me, and I like that. They fight like wrong me. Take a step back. Kids at home, y'all watch this. It's two grown men fighting right here. This is how you handle it. Tyson Charles. Oh, he's got the left hook shot. Mike Tyson trying to deliver. And the dogs are turned. Way to stay down, Roy. Way to stay down, Roy. Jesus. Stand your ground. He in there with the champ, man. He's squabbing. No, no, you ain't bleeding, Roy. He just rolled up a little bit. Did he say that? Yeah. <laughs> man, when to <laughs> what round is it? You good? I think Roy's starting to feel the pressure of the moment. Good, Roy? Yeah. yeah. This is the, that's the champ over there. Yeah, man. He even came out of his shell. That punch is starting to add up. He still got it. And of course, Jones, a former four division champion, made history again. Guys, he weighed 193 pounds when he defeated John Ruiz for the heavyweight title. Old school. Rocky Bucks. You know this. More of a light heavyweight than a real natural heavyweight. Yeah, exactly. Well, he was, yeah, moved down to face Antonio Tarver after he called up Mike Tyson 17 years ago. It's look no. good, man. Let's go. That was then, but this is now. And we're in round number six, scheduled for eight in this boxing exhibition. Look like Mike got him in range right now. He just finally sized him up and got him right in his range where he wanted him at. And of course, no surprise, the, the punch stands a uh, shell of what they were in their front. But Tyson, left hook just on the bell line. Man, Roy would not allow Mike to run a combination or him. Every time he gets ready to run a combination, he locked him up. And, 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 he, and he should. But he's smart enough to know that. If he don't, but if he doesn't go oh, back. Battered him with the right hand to the body. And Roy Jones again comes in. And, and Izzy, I know. Mike Tyson, the bigger guy. Roy Jones, clinching, smothering. Has to find a way to use that jab. Keep Tyson at distance. Yeah, right there, the dog. Whenever he throws that, he escapes. Like Lex like said, he has to put a little bit more body behind it. You can't just expect him away. You have to put your behind it. Yeah, give him some. But, but the thing about it with Roy, Roy doing the right thing, moving, and, but he has a punch. He has a little punch. And well, that's the name of the game. He's beginning to fatigue, but still standing in there. Oh, and there's that right up. Oh, get out of the way. And that just missed Roy Jones Jr. Stick by that much. 
For some reason, this ring looks a little smaller than the average rings I've seen. It does. It does look small. Am, am I tripping? I, no, it is. They did that just to get a little bit more action. Okay, because yeah. I'm like, well, you can't run in this ring. Here comes. You can't even walk. And we saw a lot of action throughout the night. Let's not forget that many thrillers here on Triller. This is the reason we're here. Exhibition. Obviously, we don't want to expect too much, but what did you think of what you saw? I loved it. I loved the fact that they were able to stay competitive the whole way. Roy using his craftiness with the with the grappling, with tying up the hands, getting Mike frustrated, and Mike able to still break loose with his head movement, miss shots to make him pay. Classic. Ray, do you want to come back? Do I want to come back? 64, you look like you're 34. No, if I could fight you. Ray, what, what, what do you think of what we witnessed tonight? No, I mean, look, the guys are 54 years yep. old and 51. I mean, Snoop, did it, uh, did it deliver what you ex expected? Hey, man, when I was a kid, 54 and 51 was old, man, oh. with rocket chairs. <laughs> so to see them out there doing their thing, that was, that was a lot to aspire to. I'm so honored to be here to see it. I know both of these guys personally, and I'm... Thank you, champs, both of y'all. Y'all did great tonight. And a pleasure yeah. for you to bring the entertainment, my That's man, dropping Sorry. the knowledge and... Such a such a pleasure here tonight as Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr. sharing the ring in the year of our Lord, 2020. Yes, sir. 2020. Mauricio My Suleiman Lord. is going to present both with the uh, frontline battle belts again. No official decision, but WBC will announce a winner if there is one. And I believe Mike Tyson should get the decision, right, Snoop? Yeah, he did that. He outworked Roy, but Roy fought a great fight, and he did his thing, took some big shots, and he gave a lot of great shots tonight. I like the way he moved around. Like you said, he was crafty. He was sharp. He was woody. He showed us signs of the old Roy Jones Jr. tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great night of sports and entertainment, courtesy of GES Boxing and Triller, with our broadcast team, anchored by Mario Lopez, with UFC middleweight champion Israel de Adesanya, sports broadcast star Mauro Ronaldo, six-time world champion, Hall of Fame legend Sugar Ray Leonard, and a little help from Mr. Stoop Dog, plus IBF, uh, pardon me, International Boxing Hall of Famer Jim Gray, and Jim Gray will be with our two superstars here in the ring in just a few moments discussing the WBC's scoring and opinions on this fight. And we'll see how they saw it. So ladies and gentlemen, stick around. We've got more coming. They did that. I'm proud of them. You just don't know until you get into that ring. You can look great in the gym. You get into that ring, it's a whole different animal. 
Mm. But it's not like sparring, right? Because no, the, the guy no. you spar with kind of like you. He's I, your friend. I, I, he can't, yeah. he can't yeah. hit you too hard because you may not pay him. But that guy across the ring right now. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Maybe we can... Uh, Book uh, you and Snoop for WrestleMania, maybe. Wrestle? Wrestle? Come on. A little wrestling? You wrestle we, got, I mean, we, we had a little wrestling. We, we go tag team. Me and Sugar Ray go tag team. Yeah. I had a personal minute. <laughs> I'll take over. Do you still stay in the gym, Ray? Are you still in the gym? Oh, I still have some boxing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what keeps me going, man. Right. Keep me sharp. Keep me sharp. Exactly. Stay focused. I love the feeling right now that we'll, that we'll both be feeling is relief, a sense of relief, like, yeah, we did that. Right. I know that feeling right after a fight, whether win or lose, you just have the sense of, like, yes, we did that. And, man, like I said, hats off to these two gentlemen because that was epic. Even though it wasn't of old for me just to see this, nostalgic, and be here with all y'all. Hats off to you, Classic. brother. What a, Is this your first time doing uh, fight yeah, commentary? For, oh, man, this is my, I'm a virgin at this. Amen. Well, anymore. Amen. Very That's good That's what job. she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a night. This is, this is going down in the annals, my man. 34 years doing this. I don't know if I'll ever have another night like this. No, that's a classic, man. It's a classic. Yeah, it is. Instantly. Man. Shout out to the people that put this together, man. All of the great minds, the people behind the scenes. They don't ever get no credit, so we want to get them a shout out right now. And what about the, the marriage of hip hop and boxing? I, I mean, real deal, Holyfield, Mr. We've been Herbs together. We, we've been married. You know what I'm saying? It just so happens that it's just finally being able to be, you know, broadcast and highly touted and being able to, you know, bring both worlds together because we've always been complimentary. You know, every time a fight happens, you know, we usually perform and we usually have to fight watching the fight. Absolutely, yes. All right. That's what it's about. Thank you, Snoop. Let's go to Jim Gray. All right, Morrow, thank you very much. Well, the scorecards of this exhibition, according to the former WBC world champions, is a draw. Mr. Tyson, what do you think of that? Okay, I'm good with that. You think you won the fight? Yeah, but I'm good with a draw. Why? Because I entertained the crowd. The crowd was happy with it. We'll be back to you in a second. You happy with this draw? Hell no, I ain't never said if I were to draw. I wear draws. I don't do draws. I like it. But the dude is so strong, man. And I understand why they say some things are bucket list. Because when he hits you, if it's his head, his punches, his body shots, don't matter. Everything hurts. So for me, I thought I did enough boxing on the outside to edge it out. But, you know, I'm cool with the draw. I mean, we just might have to try to do it again. But I don't know. <laughs> he looked exhausted for a little while. Did the body shots take a toll? The body shots definitely took a toll. The body shots are what make you exhausted. Any good fighter knows that. And I knew it too. I thought I had a six pack that was all right, but I guess I'm going to give me a 12 pack. Because the six ain't getting. It. it came back like nothing. You took it. You took it. I knew I hit you with a good shot. You took it. You took it. I'm a gambler. I respect, hey, I respect that. I respect that. Mike, at age 54, you haven't been in the ring for 15 years. How would you assess your performance, your stamina, and overall how you perform? Well, I'm used to doing it for three minutes. And um, sometimes that two minutes felt like three minutes. And um, I'm just happy I got this under my belt and I'm continuing to go further and do more. You'll do this again? Absolutely. He will, he will be on the card as well. well let, me, let me ask you about your performance. What, what was it like for you to be in the ring as compared to what it was when you left as a professional? I was very happy to be here. And um, despite, performance wise. Yeah, despite what anybody said. But despite what everybody said, I was so happy to go to eight rounds. Because everybody knows I can knock somebody out. But everybody don't know I can go eight rounds and ten rounds. And that's what I'm more grateful for now than anything. And no knockers. Knockers don't mean nothing. You got to be able to go the distance. That's fighting. Everybody has a plan until they get hit. Yeah. You got hit. And, and how went, did it affect you? I went to plan B. I hit him back. <laughs> Uh, Roy, uh, you want to continue this now? <laughs> Bro, pick Randy Yo. Hey, Mike won the fight, but you know they gave him the draw just in all good spirits. Thank you all for listening, and we are out.